Welcome everybody, welcome to the channel and this is a bit, this is a short one, we're not going to go 20 minutes on this, it's not Saturday morning kitchen or anything. You might have been a bit confused with the thumbnail because I'm holding up the box to my crock pot and these crock pots, they're a game changer, I'm going to say it's a game changer and you're going to go fill your decorator, what you're holding up a crock pot for. And I've probably told you many times, my GCSEs at school, I got a grade C in home economics. Now, that had nothing to do with being at private school. And there was five girls and just me. And I thought this is going to be a bit more beneficial than doing computer studies. How times have changed. How times have changed. Because 10 years on, I ended up doing a CLAIT course, which was a computer literacy and information technology. And move on another, what? That was mid to late 90s and move up into the 2020s. I'm now a global superstar on YouTube. Yeah, there's all a little bit of a, um, yeah. Anyway, so ugh, I still do cooking at home. But we need a crock pot. We're going to laugh. Stop laughing. We need a crock pot. And you're going to say, Phil, you're a decorator. Why are you needing a crock pot? And this is a, this is a slow cooker. Now, this is just a small slow cooker. We don't need to go mad. And this makes all the difference to your paint. And you're going to go, what do you mean, Phil? Paint, crock pot. Right. You get one of these. You take the lid off. You get your paint. Now that can be water-based or oil-based. Oil-based will see a noticeable difference because there's oils in it. And if you warm oils, they thin down and make your paint a lot easier to apply. But the same principle happens with your water-based paints. If your water-based paints are a little bit cold, they've been on the van or you've been in your workshop or they've been on the job and there's not much heating because you've taken the radiators off. If you get your crock pot or any other decent slow cooker are available, just put the lid on it, turn it to high. And I would say within 10 to 15 minutes, that is really warmed up and it is warming your paint up. Now, just don't take my word for it. I'm just gonna give you a scenario of there's a certain company and there's a few certain companies that make heated hoses for spraying. Now, there's obviously an element, I've got to put it down, it's gone heavy now. There's an element, there's, clearly there's an element in it to make it warm, but there is something in it that if you warm your paint, it makes it easier to spray, easier to paint with, easy to apply. Now I'm on about brushing and I'm on about spraying. So if I can warm my paint up, particularly when I'm in here, which isn't always warm, I've got heaters on and everything. Sometimes I just need to give that little bit of a boost to my paint just to help it flow and things without adding additives and putting water to it. When I'm doing Dave the door, when I'm doing Doris the door, sometimes I do need to warm my paint up. And I've mentioned it on a few videos recently and people have said, got to tell us a bit more about this. So I've got it out, I've found the box and I've got that out. Now, there's no sponsorship or anything, but I do have these on. There is a link below if you want to buy one off Amazon. And I've told you before, if you do buy off Amazon through any of the links that I put down, I don't get paid by the companies. It's not being sponsored. It's just Amazon give me a small percentage. So that all helps towards that Porsche. But that's, that's by the by, you can go to B&M, you can go to Tesco, you can go online anywhere and get a cheap crock pot stroke um, slow cooker. This cost me under 20 quid and I think it was on offer and I get next day delivery because I've got Prime and I think it was about 15 quid. So for 15 quid, it's a no-brainer that I can have that in here and when I need to, I can just warm my paint, do a demo for you with paint that's not too thick and heavy because it's been cold. And that little pot is ideal. It's got heat settings, low, medium, and high. So depending on the paint you're using, if you've got probably an oil-based paint that doesn't need cranking up too much, you can just put it on low and set it to what you need. You'll, you'll notice within 10 to 15 minutes that the tin's starting to warm up because of the conduction of the heat from the slow cooker is transferring across into your paint. Now, what you're not looking at doing is leaving it on 24 hours and it's like pulled port the next day. What you're wanting to do is just gently warm that paint and you'll get your mixing stick and you'll mix the paint up and you'll go, that's, what wow, feels, what a golden nugget of information feels, Gavers, because when you tried to mix that paint when it was cold, it was very, glue, let's call it glue paint, it was very thick, very, um, the viscousness 
viscosity, the viscousness of the paint was very thick. Once you've started warming it, it makes it easier to mix, easier to stir, easier to apply. And that's where I come back to the heated hoses on sprayers. If you've got heated hoses on sprayers, it helps, I won't say thin it down, it helps ease that paint to make it a little bit more liquefied. And in turn, that helps you reduce overspray because it means you can turn your pressure down on your gauges on your, I've got my sprayer just behind the door. You can turn the pressure down on the actual sprayer. You can drop down a spray tip, have more control over it. And we're talking about airless and you will notice that you will get a generally a better finish because you've got less overspray clouding up the air. Not all the time, you've got to, got to practice with it. You'll notice that warmer paint does reduce your um, air pressure, the pressure that's needed at the sprayer, and also you could probably drop down a spray tip. Now I've had times where going back a number of years, hence why I know this system works, I sprayed a house that had got underfloor heating on. Now, as the day went on, that heating started to crank up slightly. Now, at the start of the day, I was using my um, 440 XT Titan sprayer. Now, I worked straight out the paint tin because it's got a, a suction feed tube on it. I was spraying at 1800 PSI. Now, that paint was slightly thinned. It was um, Optiva Primer and I went on to AR2. And I noticed that throughout the day, that paint was warming up and I could turn down the pressure because I felt that I was spraying with too much pressure because I was getting bounced back off the ceilings. By the time I'd finished in the afternoon, I was down at 1500 PSI. That bounce back had reduced because I'd turned down the pressure and also I'd dropped down a spray tip. So from a 517, because I've got smallish rooms, not nothing massive, 517, you could go down to a 516, um, which is great. So it does make a difference if you can warm your paint and you'll also notice a difference applying it by a brush, applying it by a roller. Now, a lot of people are doing doors at the moment um, with oil-based paints. If you can get your paint more runnier, I would say runnier as it's gonna run on you, but if you can apply it, that it is warm and it's easier to apply, which means you can get your roller on it and get those fancy brushes for laying off, it's not gonna be drying off on you too quick because you've got that paint already thinned down and you've got a little bit more of a working time with it. So I'm gonna say two years, check these out. This is a small one, this will hold, if you were doing your chili con carne, if you're doing chili con carne, which you could even have your lunch, couldn't you? Put something in it at, at the work. You could put something in it at work and cook your own dinner. If you have this, you will fit a litre tin in it nicely, a 750 uh, and the likes. If you wanted something a bit bigger than this one, you could do, and you could probably get a 2.5 um, tin in it as well. Just be mindful, um, plastic tins and containers, you don't want it too hot. A lot of these litre tins are actually metal, so you're all right with that. And it is literally put the tin in there, turn it on, keep your eye on it, come back to it, and then see how it is. If in doubt, just loosen that lid slightly. You can give it a stir, keep an eye on it and see how it's actually performing in the crock pot. Crock pot is a brand, by the way. It's not um, an item. It's crock pots are a brand and a make. As you can see, it's on the box. But other brands are out there. And as I say, please check them out. Nip to Argos or somewhere like that and you can pick one up cheap enough. But you don't have to spend a fortune on something to warm your paint and give it a go, see what you think. Are you already using one of these? If you are, what do you think to it? Game changer or what? I think so.